Now that almost everyone has a cell phone, cameras are everywhere. Before everyone had a camera, taking pictures was usually a planned event. There are still situations where professional photographers are needed. For example, the photojournalism and yearbook classes at Frisco High School not only give students access to almost everyone in school, but teach students how to become skilled photographers. I'm able to look at the student body and like interact with everybody and just like a, such a different light and just share stories that most people wouldn't be able to get to see and take photos, make art. In photojournalism, you like learn how to work your way around a DSLR camera and also um, you learn how to capture moments like in the most technical but also fun way as possible and it's really helped me to be able to see my school in a different way. Whether it's for the yearbook or a newspaper, photojournalists are often able to provide a perspective that the average person cannot. First of all, in photojournalism, if you're an artist, um, you get to work on your artistic eye. We use the same um, elements of composition that are used in your theater classes as well as in art classes. We just re-emphasize over and over so you um, can see things in um, more of an artistic perspective. I'm able to provide a viewpoint for others to look at, um, like me being down in the, uh, like on the field or you know, me being like at a prom, like I could be in the middle of the dance floor, right? Like, I'm able to provide like different viewpoints that others might not be able to see with their phone. With a DSLR camera, you're really just focusing and making sure you capture a story as well. That's a very important part of being a photojournalism, or photojournalist is not only just getting the picture, but the story behind it. Photojournalism and yearbook are classes that present challenges much like the real world. Your book is the closest thing to having a, a real world experience of anything. It is a real job because the students produce a book that people pay for. So this is a business. So I have business managers who actually can track how many books have been sold, what our uh, break even point is, what our profit margin is, and it is a business that they run. If you are interested in being plugged in to what's happening at Frisco High School, you might consider taking photojournalism and yearbook where being there is part of the job. The 2019 yearbook is still available through Jostens.com for $75 through February 2nd. The price goes up after that and availability goes down. It will have a year's worth of pictures and memories that will last a lifetime. For RACC TV, I'm Jacob Poole. Every student has their favorite teacher and their not so favorite teacher. You probably have a teacher that's made an impression on you over the years, but have you ever wondered what kind of teachers our teachers had? I had some really great high school teachers, um, and some of them I'm actually still in contact with. Some of them I ended up um, working with again as colleagues, um, and so I had I had some really great teachers, and you know specifically English teachers. You know, kind of inspired me. Uh, her name was Miss Davis. She was my trig pre-cal teacher, and she was awesome. And she is who inspired me to do what I do today. My favorite high school teacher was probably my freshman biology teacher. He was uh, a baseball coach and a football coach. And uh, just I really liked how kind of uh, he cared about how well we did. And um, we kind of built that relationship in the classroom and saw that relationship in athletics. And that's kind of what made me want to become a teacher. I love my teachers in high school. I had Coach Weirwan. I was his teacher aide. Um, you'll have to ask him about the time I lost his credit card. Each teacher seems to have drawn a certain number of methods and inspirations from their teachers in the past to implement in their own classroom. Just the way they taught and the way they cared about uh, me as a student. What got me into teaching, I think it was all my coaches that I had, my football coaches, just inspired me to about giving back and helping others. I had a lot of um, influences growing up, but I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. I knew that's what I wanted to do, and I never doubted it for a minute. My favorite high school teacher was a man named Coach Hogg. He was my offensive line coach. Uh, coach Hogg is actually the reason, I know, funny name, is actually the reason that I went into coaching, and he then became an administrator, and that inspired me to become an administrator too. Teachers are a large source of inspiration and guidance for their students. We hope that you draw some inspiration from your teachers for your future plans and careers. For RICC TV, I'm Maddox Diltz. Let's talk trash. Have you ever walked into the lunchroom and found trash where you sit? 
Not picking up trash is inconsiderate, messy, and unsanitary. I know none of you have ever done this, but what can we do about this problem at Frisco High School? How do y'all feel about people leaving their trash at the lunch tables? I think it's disgusting and people should learn how to pick up after themselves. Yeah, I just think it's like rude. Like the custodians aren't here to like pick up your mess. They're like, that's gross. I think it's disrespectful because they should be responsible for their own trash. How do you feel when students leave their trash? Offended. Well, I would ask them, who do they think picks it up? Is there some magic fairy that comes in and cleans up? No, you're leaving that job for someone else. Would you like someone to do that to you? Uh, I think it's disrespectful to the school. It's really frustrating. How do you feel when students leave their trash? It's rude. Okay, well, first of all, it's not the custodial's job to pick up trash from the tables. It's the custodian's job to empty the trash bins. What students don't think about is, especially in the mornings and at lunch, we have such limited staff that if you don't take care of your trash, then it makes this custodian not be able to take care of other job duties. So we need students to take part in and take care of all of their individual trash so that our custodians can really do what they need to do all over our building. There are no good excuses for not picking up trash, whether it's yours or not. The number one excuse I hear is it's not my trash. But then again, it's not my trash either. It's not the custodian's trash. If you sit at the table, your friends leave trash, pick it up after them. It's part of being a good citizen. I'm sure when you go to Burger King, you just leave your trash all over the table because it's not your trash. Pick up your trash, your people's trash, and anybody else's that you might see. It's a citizenship thing. It's in everyone's best interest to keep the school clean. When you see trash, whether it's in the hallways or the cafeteria, just throw it away. You'll be doing everyone a favor. For RACC TV, I'm Ian Bland. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the Weekend Weather Watch. I'm Bradley Owen. And I'm Broccoli Mills. So how are you liking the weather, Bradley? I'm freezing. It's so cold, I'm looking forward to getting a fever. Coach Stewart won't want to hear that. You've got a swim meet coming up. As soon as I get the Zamboni off the pool, it froze over. You know what a Zamboni is, right? Of course. I'm a hockey player. Speaking of the weather, we will have a really nice weekend coming up. Today will be sunny with a high of 48 and a low of 45. Saturday Saturday will also be sunny with a high of 55 and a low of 39. And Sunday and Sunday will once again be sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 47. Gotta love that Texas weather. What's happening this weekend? Varsity Tennis is at Memorial today for a tournament. The boys and girls basketball teams take on Lebanon Trail right here at FHS after school today. The soccer boys go up against Memorial at Memorial after school today, while the soccer girls take on Memorial here at home. On Saturday, ACDEC has a competition beginning at 8 a.m. to 2.20 here at Frisco High School in Sea Hall. And the Lady Raccoons softball play a scrimmage game against Cattle Mills High School at Jerry Cotton Field starting at 10 a.m. Jerry Cotton Field is right next to the SOC. I wouldn't know. For RACC-TV, I'm Broccoli Mills. And I'm Bradley Owens.